When I first talked to my sissies about looking for the midnight loon, they weren't too enthusiastic. Swampy mangroves and small sailing boats were not familiar to any of us, but the $1,000 reward from the local newspaper for just taking a picture of the midnight loon pulled us out of our comfort zones. Suze was losing it when I got to the dock. She is just the most impatient. But Diz was her cool self and, well, I fall somewhere in between. The nighttime held secrets, but spurred on by the reward, we agreed to make the quest and bring back proof the midnight moon had returned to our waters after almost 200 years. It's pretty remote out there, but I did see a couple of fishing on the bank. And we were off. Our plan was to find that loon and take her picture. We hadn't thought out the details or anything, but the night was amazing, and we were its captives. wound up at a dead end with an amazing amount of mushrooms growing, watched over by a large frog incense burner. What? <laughs> Out here in nowhere? What is this place? What could it possibly mean? Diz and I were the first to try one. We both heard in our heads, eat me. So we did. Sue's finally ate one too, and before we could get back in the boat, we realized they were magic mushrooms as the magic began to wash over us. As we cruised the canals, the night danced above us and we were struck with total awe. The scenery had changed and was changing. It was the same scenery but waving surreally. All of a sudden, what in the world is that ahead? I mean, were they real or were they our hallucinating collective imagination? We got out of the boat ready to defend ourselves, but when we realized we really couldn't fight them. I mean, they were just kids, sort of. So we joined them and danced with these felt doll apparitions from the back waters of our collective mind. sure how long we were there. Wow, that was one crazy swamp hallucination, but not a loon in sight. Back in the boat, flying higher than three kites, we docked along the bank and built a campfire to rest and wait for midnight. We were all in another dimension, sometimes the same one, sometimes just giggling, sometimes just being silly, but, you know, we saw the beauty of nature all around us, and that we were just three more creatures of this cosmos and this swamp, and we stayed for long minutes just in awe of everything. Oh, but when something like a clock began to strike 12 midnight, we woke up. Time to get serious, and we heard that loon so close by, we did a little warm-up. The search was back on. Nothing seemed to bring us down, but we were like one mind in the boat, and we were sailing on intuition. We all just knew where to go, and when we rounded the bend, that loon call was so close, we could touch it. 
we witnessed the surfacing of a river whale. Or maybe we just imagined it, but it was so awesome. I mean, do they even exist? River whales? But the sounds of night enveloped us. We were one with the night, one with the sky. a small canal and then we heard it again we were here but all of a sudden we got caught up in a frog rain a frog rain another legend come true the kind I had only read about they plopped and squished under our feet oh my god we were all yelling it was our final hurdle because we could see the loon just ahead, but when would this rain let up? Then calm, the night shimmered. We noiselessly waited closer and closer. There she was, the midnight loon, quietly paddling with her baby riding high on her back. We all got tears. It was so overwhelming. We all felt it. I looked at my sisters and they looked at me and somehow wordlessly we agreed to not take real pictures, real proof. But just remember this moment in our hearts. because we did not want this peaceful lagoon desecrated by the curious and the tourists, concession stands and people hawking loon paraphernalia. No, just no to that. It wasn't worth it. We snapped heart pictures to keep this night, this moment in our memories and in our hearts. We will keep her secret forever. We survived our own fears of the mangrove of the night. We survived an accidental overdose of magic mushrooms, dancing apparitions and frog rain. We even survived our selfish greed when we found the loon. And we found something even more. We found nature and felt how much we were a part of everything. We found meaning and yes, all three of us would never be the same. Was this night worth it, even giving up the reward? Oh, you know it was. There was someone from the newspaper waiting for us. She said, aren't you the sisters that signed up to look for the loon? We nodded yes. And she said excitedly, oh, did you find her? We hung our heads and shook them, saying no. Oh, that's too bad. Well, better luck next time. And simultaneously, as we turned our backs and walked away, we all broke out into the biggest smiles and began to dance across that bridge in joy and abandon. This is how our tale ends. Three very happy fish sissies dancing and prancing all the way home and all the way into credits.
Thank you.